Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, the Honorable Henry said. Uh, Mr. Chair, I do understand the concern of our colleagues uh, that we have to finish this investigation. But we must also understand that the, our resource persons are playing important roles in their respective de departments, particularly the police. Uh, uh, palagay ko ho, eh, bigyan din natin sila ng pagkakataon na magtrabaho sa kanika nilang opisina. Anyway, uh, anyway ho, tapos na tayo sa first round. Bukas naman, eh, pwede naman tayong mas maaga. So, Mr. Chair, I move to suspend our uh, uh, Mr. investigation Chair, until Mr. Chair, tomorrow morning. Mr. Chair, just a minute. Now, if I, if I may, uh, there, there, uh, there is a prior agreement between the chair and the, the movement of the motion to, uh, to continue with the... Yeah. Mr. Chair, but we need uh, to go. Can Mr. we chair. agree on, on 5.30? 5.30. That was the agreement between me and Congressman Rubricat. So if uh, other members would agree with that. Okay, agree. Okay, proceed. Special, uh, the next... Uh, I, I, I will agree, but let us put things in the proper perspective. The Senate conducted 10 hearings, five executive hearings and five public hearings. And we are here on only on our second day. So that is why I'm saying you know, if we cannot uh, have 10 hearings, let us have us the, the marathon hearings. Anyway, I will agree to 5.30, but tomorrow, uh, that is another question. Mr. Chair. So okay, well, can we proceed now with the agreement between the chair to proceed and uh, end the uh, committee hearing on 5.30? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay, I let me uh, recognize the next uh, interpolator. Uh, Representative uh, Acedillo, the next to ask question. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Chair, excuse me po. po sa lahat na andito. I'd like to ask my first question kay General Napeña, sir. Uh, General Napeña, uh, sir, I'm, I'm not sure kung na-incorporate po sa either sa BOI or sa Senate Committee Report, yun pong transcript ng SMS exchange nyo with uh, Superintendent Train. Sir, could you please uh, clarify that uh, point? Hindi ko po masasagot, Your Honor. Ang na naibigay ko na transcription yung text messages ko going sa mga troops at saka pataas, yun na naibigay ko kay General Magalong. Immediately, nung nag-start sila ng BOI doon sa Cotobato City. As to the transcription namin ni Superintendent Train, ang tama na tao po siguro yan, si Senior Inspector SP. Kasi sila yung nagpapalitan ng text messages, Your Honor. You mean to say, sir, uh, shortly before, during, and after the Mama Sapano encounter, wala po kayong text exchanges with the uh, Superintendent Train? Wala po, Your Honor. Uh, I came to know na hindi kami nagkaroon ng contact kasi binago niya yung cellphone na ginamit, hindi yung regular niya na cellphone, Your Honor. Kaya si Sub Senior Inspector SP, yung from the time na nagkumpisa yung operation hanggang natapos, siya yung kapalitan niya ng text messages, Your Honor. Sir, how about the officers uh, below your command? Uh, hindi o yung pataas sa inyo, but below you, under you, or those below you, Meron po ba kayong text uh, or SMS exchanges with them, sir? Meron po, Your Honor. Uh, they were all submitted doon sa BOI. Uh, yung nga sinabi ko kanina na immediately nung nag-start yung BOI inquiry doon sa Cotabato City, ibinigay ko immediately yung cellphone voluntarily, Your Honor. At tinanggal, kinuha nila lahat ng text messages, pataas, pababa, at saka palateral na communication ko, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to ask if uh, Superintendent Rain is present. Wala siya. Wala. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I uh, manifest that uh, at a later time we can invite uh, Superintendent Train either sa public hearing or 
Sa so executive Maybe session. Maybe in a executive uh, session. Okay, for executive session. Yes. Mr. Chair, thank you. We will uh, resolve that later. Uh, General Peña, sir, during the entire encounter, were you able to exercise the three C, sir? Command, control, and communication sa lahat po ng aspeto ng operation. Because I understand, sir, you're the overall commander of the uh, Operation Exodus. Tama po ba, sir? Yes, Your Honor. So, sir, did you have... Uh, were you able to exercise the three C's during the entire course of the operation? Yes, Your Honor. Sa lahat po ng elemento po, sa 84th, sa 55th, sa 43rd, sa, 5th, uh, sa 45th, sa entire 4th SAF Battalion, sa advanced command post yun po at sa, sa inyong tactical command post? Yes, Your Honor. Except yung wala kong direct communication dun sa 45th, 42nd, at saka 41st, it is yung commander ng advanced command post sa may direct na communication and the commander on the ground who is manning the advanced command post has direct communication with me at the tactical command post. Was that All the rest, mayroon direct communication sa tactical command post, Your Honor. Was that intentional, sir, o nagkataon lang na hindi na-establish yung communication nyo with them? It was not intentional, Your Honor. That's the one that we tried to find out kung ano nangyari dun sa region nila. Dahil yung region ng 55, gumana hanggang alauna pasado nung na-overwhelm sila. Pero yung radio ng 43rd, uh, I mean yung 45th, 42nd, saka 41st, na mas malapit sila sa kinaroroonan, nila kaysa yung sa 50 pip biglang naputol yung radio communication doon sa lugar nila. However, yung madaling araw na nag insert sila nung nag-uusap kami ng sa radio, habang nasa sa Ripagwap, papasok sa Ripagwap, meron kaming contact sa kanila. Pero nung pagdating nila doon sa area nila, sa looban, wala kaming contact sa kanila, yung tatlong kumpanya, Your Honor. However, yung commander on the ground, who is the battalion commander of the fort, uh, Special Action Battalion, meron siyang direct na contact doon sa company commanders ng tatlong company na yun. So, it's not accurate, sir, for you to say na you had uh, the three, do you establish the three C's, command, control, and communication sa lahat po ng aspeto ng operasyon? Kasi meron pong mga elements po ng inyong entire operation na wala ko kayong direct contact. Tama po ba? Uh, complied po namin yung three C's, Your Honor. After all, Hindi naman talagang wala ng contact doon sa tatlong kumpanya. na -re relay pa rin yung nasa advance command post, who is also the, yung nagmaman doon, who is also the ground commander, na -re relay pa rin niya sa amin, sa tactical command post, lahat ng information na nangyayari on the ground, Your Honor. Sir, uh, I was made aware that uh, it was Chief Superintendent Talino and Senior Superintendent Mangahis who were the ones on the ground coordinating with well, initially with Colonel De Rosario, the commanding officer of the Mechanized Infantry Battalion. Prior to going there po, ano po yung naging instructions yun doon sa dalawa? Kasama ko po sila nung pagmula ng gabi hanggang umaga doon sa tactical command post. At nung umaga na yun, kailangan na magpunta personally si Superintendent Mangahis muna doon sa mechanized brigade headquarters which is only about 2 kilometers away along the highway kasi nandun kami sa loob ng Maguindanao Police Provincial Office pinasunod ko din doon si Chief Superintendent Talino para mas maganda yung discussion at uh, yung konferensya nila tungkol doon sa ongoing operations at saka yung tulong na kakailanganin ng aming tropa sa loob dahil dito sa pangyayaring ito Your Honor. Sir, my question was what were your instructions to them sir? before they proceeded to coordinate with the Army? Ang instruction ko po sa kanila is to coordinate doon sa Mechanized Brigade directly para mas maganda yung coordination doon sa operation na gagawin na pagtulong doon sa uh, naiinkwentro na tao namin doon sa loob, Your Honor. Sir, may I specifically ask what the instructions were? Kasi po, humihingi po kayo ng tulong. Anong klase pong tulong, in what form, and all other details attendant to that request for support, sir? General yung instruction ko para maganda yung coordination sa pagsingi ng tulong, Your Honor. Sir, I am aware that when they proceeded to coordinate with the Army, specifically Colonel Del Rosario, the first thing that was asked of them was that what was their exit strategy? Do you know, sir, what their answer was? 
to Jen, uh, to Colonel Del Rosario, sir. Sir, si Superint uh, Chief Superintendent Talino and si Senior Superintendent Mangahis were asked by Colonel Del Rosario what was the exit strategy para po matulungan yun pong beleaguered na soft troopers natin. Do you know po anong sagot nila? Hindi ko po alam, Your Honor, pero mas mabuti po siguro na sagutin ni Chief Superintendent Talino at saka si Superintendent Mangahis yung katanungan na yan. Nandito naman sila ngayon, Your Honor. As, uh, Mr. Chairman, may I ask that uh, we recognize Chief Superintendent uh, Talino and uh, Superintendent Mangahis to answer that same question, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, have they uh, taken their oath? Please uh, address yourself. And tanong ko lang po yung first uh, hearing natin nag- uh, uh, Not yet. Hindi ba? Uh, this is your waiter. first time to attend the hearing? I attended the, the last uh, or the first uh, hearing, uh, Mr. Yes, Chair. Yes, pinatayo kayo lahat ng mga resource person. So, naka-old ka na. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. So, that refers to both... Uh, the general sir and the colonel thank you general yes uh, Please mr chair uh, yes uh, mr chair uh, your honor uh nung uh, pumunta sir kami doon sa uh, uh, mechanized brigade uh, superintendent mga his uh, was the first to proceed to the headquarters of uh, the mechanized brigade at around siguro mga 7 more or less 7 uh, am at uh, sinabi niya, sir, pupunta ko doon para humingi ng uh, support, specifically yung uh, artillery support. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, sir, sorry, uh, may I just uh, interrupt you, sir? Uh, I'll go direct to the question. Sir, when you uh, went to coordinate with the Army, initially with Colonel Del Rosario of the Mechanized Infantry Battalion, uh, I'm sure, sir, tinanong po kayo kung ano yung plano nyo at anong klaseng tulong yung gusto nyo. When you were asked that question, sir, ano po yung sagot nyo? Either you, sir, or si... Uh, Superintendent Mangahi, sir. Yes, uh, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chair. Nung tinanong ako kung ano yung tulong na gusto naming uh, hingin sa kanila, ang first na sinabi ko kay Colonel De Rosario was, uh, if we can uh, request for artillery support, uh, dahil sabi ko na pin down na yung uh, tropa natin ng 55th uh, SAC. So, yun ang sinabi niya. Sir, okay sa akin yung uh, artillery pero hindi inaproba ng division commander. So yun po yung sinabi niya sa akin at uh, nirelay ko po yun kay uh, General Napeñas. So ano ang pwede mong sir, i- Sir, may, may I stop you there, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, was there any input from Superintendent mga Hay, sir? Uh, did he give any additional input, sir, as to what kind of support you will ask from the Army, sir? Kasi dalawa po kayo na coordinate, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Superintendent mga is po, sir. The designated operations officer of the Upland Exeter, sir. Uh, Colonel mga is, sir. Same question po. Uh, any input po doon sa request nyo sa Army with regard to the kind of support you wanted uh, to be provided to the South Troopers? Upon arrival po dun sa 1st Mech Brigade, uh, immediately, eh, binarif ko po yung si Sir Del Rosario, 1st Mech Brigade Commander, regarding dun sa situation. Dala ko po yung mapa, yung... Sir, sorry, sir. Uh, sir. Uh, we're pressed for time po kasi. Yes, sir. Opo, sir. Can you please direct... Uh, can, can you please go directly to answering my question, sir? Ano po, sir? Uh, aside from what uh, Chief Superintendent uh, Talino told Colonel De Rosario, ano pa po yung dinagdag nyo doon, if any? Sir, ito po yan, sir. Uh, gusto ko kasing may bigyan ng assist po ito, sir. Sandali lang po ito, sir. So, dala ko po yung mapa. Naipresent ko po ng maayos yung position, location ng tropa. And then, nagkama po, kami, nagkama po ng uh, recommendation regarding po sa dalawang uh, uh, 
uh, concept. First is yung artillery, second po is yung ground reinforcement. Ito na po yung art, uh, uh, vehicle plus infantry po, sir. So yun po yung dalawang yun, sir. Then after nun, sir, tinawagan ko na po si Jared Alinio para makita niyo po yung nilay down na recommendation po, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. May I ask, Mr. Chairman, uh, to recognize uh, Colonel Del Rosario being yes, uh, the subject of the request of the PNP staff. The uh, Colonel Rosario, uh, Del Rosario is uh, recognized. And if I may remind the Honorable Senator, you only have one left. Uh, question, one, one, one question more to, to go. So, yes, uh, please uh, proceed. Uh, I would just want Colonel De Rosario to answer the same question and then I will ask my last question. Please proceed. Uh, magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. I'm uh, Colonel Henel De Rosario, the uh, Brigade Commander of the uh, First Mechanized Infantry Brigade. Actually po, uh, actually po, yung aking sasabihin is the same as a uh, statement ko sa aking uh, sworn statement submitted to the uh, Board of Inquiry. Uh, Yung pong sinasabi ni na uh, uh, Director uh, Chief Superintendent Talinyo at si Superintendent Mangahis is uh, actually tumawag po si Superintendent Mangahis sa akin mga 6.45 in the morning noong January 25. Uh, sinabi niya po sa akin na napapaenkwentro yung uh, mga kasamahan nila and nagre-request po sila ng reinforcement. Dahil hindi ko po maintindihan yung mga ibang sinasabi niya, sinabi ko po kay Superintendent Mangahis na you report to my brigade headquarters kung malapit ka lang. Ang sabi niya, sir, is, yes, sir, malapit lang ako. Mag-report ako sa iyo in 10 to 15 minutes. So, naghintay ako, sir. Pagdating niya, within mga 10, 15 minutes, uh, so mga around 7, 7, 5, sir, magkasabay po si Chief Superintendent Talinyo at si Superintendent Mangais na nag-report po sa harapan ng brigade headquarters. Hindi po sila magkahiwalay. Magkasabay po sila. Pagdating po nila doon sa Brigade Headquarters, uh, tinanong ko po si General Talinyo, kumusta po yung tropa niya? Ang sabi niya nga po is, bigla na po siya nag, uh, uh, nag-lay down ng kanilang uh, mapa. It's a Google Map, Zoom Google Map na nilay down nila sa table po. Tapos po is, uh, nagbigay po siya sila ng quick briefing sa akin, si Superintendent Mangais. Tinuro po nila yung kanilang uh, nasa, uh, nasa, nasaan ang kanilang advance command post nasaan yung kanilang first group, yung kanilang second group, yung kanilang third group, at saka yung main effort nila na pumunta sa target nila. Actually po, wala po silang sinasabi kung anong unit. Hindi ko po alam yung uh, 40, 44, 45, 55, uh, 84, hindi po nila sinasabi yan. Ang sabi lang po nila is, uh, andito po yung uh, first group, second group, third group. So, uh, tinanong ko po sila kung uh, ano na ang sitwasyon, Ang sabi nila, sir, is nag-withdraw na yung kanilang main effort. Uh, so, nung uh, uh, sabi nila na nag-withdraw, tinanong ko, sir, is uh, saan, saan, sir, banda yung uh, napapa-encounter? Ang sagot po ni uh, Superintendent Mangais at saka ni, uh, Superintendent, uh, ni uh, Chief Superintendent Talinyo is nasa bandang kaliwa daw po. Tinuturo lang po nila doon sa Google Map, which is different from the tactical map we are using sa Brigade Headquarters, which is a military tactical map. So, Google Map lang po yon tinuturo nila. Uh, noong pong uh, sinabi nilang bandang kaliwa, so, tinitingnan po namin yung Google Map. Tinanong ko po si uh, Chief Superintendent Talinyo at saka si Superintendent Mangais, uh, so ano sir, ano po sir ang uh, plano nyo para matulungan namin kayo doon sa reinforcement? Uh, noong tinanong ko po silang ganoon, tahimik lang po si uh, Chief Superintendent Talinyo at tahimik din po si uh, Superintendent Mangais. So dahil uh, na-sense ko na uh, tahimik sila, parang uh, yung, yung way ng reinforcement is dinidevelop pa nila. So bumalik po ako ng mapa, ako na lang po, kami na lang po na, ganun, na inanalyze po namin. Na yung withdrawal po ng kanilang main effort is uh, nasa gitna, sa bandang kaliwa po is maraming mga coconut area at maraming mga community ng MILF dyan sa uh, bandang kaliwa. Uh, yun po ang sinabi ko sa kanila na, Sir, kung nag-withdraw ka sa dito sa area na ito, unprotected yung kaliwa mo, definitely baka merong mga lawless na puputok sa inyo yan. Uh, dapat, Sir, yan, maprotektahan natin. So yung first option natin, lagyan natin ng uh, tropa. 
uh, ng, ng foot soldier. Uh, second sir, uh, yung pong kanilang uh, extraction point kung saan po uh, dapat magpunta yung mga nagwi-withdraw, nakita po namin na naka-expose siya sa kaliwang portion pa ulit. So this is a highway malapit po sa ACP, yung po yung extraction point. Dahil exposed po yung kaliwa, na-mention ko po kay General Talino at Superintendent mga is, mas maganda maglagyan natin ng armored vehicle itong kaliwa for us to protect yung extraction point. Kasi kahit na nag extract itong main effort mo, pag hindi mo na na-protect yung uh, bandang kaliwa mo, ma-expose siya sa mga loles. So yun po yung second option na sinabi ko na lagyan natin ng armored vehicle doon sa may uh, uh, leftmost portion sa may highway. Then, uh, nung sinabi ko po yun, uh, sabi po ni uh, General Talino sa akin, uh, nag-request siya sa akin na, sabi niya, sayong mas maganda mayroong artillery kasi napapa-encounter na sa kaliwa yung uh, tropa. Sabi ko, sir, Uh, sir, delikado yan kasi hindi natin alam yung lo exact location ng main effort mo. Nasaan ba sir yung lead element at saka tail element ng tropa mo? Hindi po masagot ni General Talino, hindi rin po masagot ni Superintendent Mga Ais. Actually, nakita ko po si Superintendent Mga Ais, kinuha ang cellphone, uh, uh, trying to contact somebody. So, second question ko po sir is, Sir, hindi natin alam yung movement ng uh, main effort mo. Yun namang uh, pumuputok sa inyo, nasaan ba ang exact location? So, tingin lang kami sa mapa, tinuro niya lang sir yung bandang, bandang kaliwa. So, most probable dito, sabi nila. So, kung sa amin sir, uh, wala talaga ang exact location doon sa sinabi. Uh, third sir, sinabi ko kay General Talino, sir, mayroon bang mga civilian na naobserbahan yung mga tropa mo within the, the area? Noong tinanong ko po kung mayroon na sa oobserbahan ng mga sibilyan, uh, tumahimik na rin po sila, tapos uh, Superintendent Mga Ais is trying to contact somebody sa phone. So, yun po, sinabi ko sa kanya, uh, Sir, kung hindi natin malaman yung mga uh, location mo, yung sibilyan, uh, mahirap, delikado yan. Uh, tapos, Sir, uh, second, uh, yung authority ng uh, pagputok ng uh, artillery, uh, hindi ko sa level yan, kay Kong Six yan. Uh, dahil upper class ko si uh, General Talino, bigla niya sinabi sa akin na uh, sige, kahit, kahit na hindi sa authority mo, ipa-request, basta ipa-request natin kay, ano, kay Kong Six. That's the idea. Dahil uh, General siya, nag-request siya sa akin, that's the idea bakit uh, nag-gawa uh, ako ng third option. Uh, dalawa lang yung option namin. Insert infantry, yung second, yung uh, armored vehicle. Yung third, because he's a general requesting me for an artillery na minention ko pa na delikado nung una dahil ni-request niya, kaya ako pinadaan kasi hindi sa akin ang, uh, ang uh, authority. Sinabi ko po kay General uh, Pangilinan na sir, uh, tapos na yung briefing namin, here is my plan. Sinabi ko po yung plan 1, plan 2, at saka yung plan 3 if he will approve it kasi nga ni-request ni General Talino. So noong uh, nag-usap po kami ni... Uh, General Pangilinan, ang concern niya po nung uh, kinakausap ko ako is number one, yung position po ng mga PNP. Miss, sinabi ko sa kanya na sir, uh, hindi ma-determine kung nasaan talaga. Uh, uh, hindi pa nila ma-determine. Ang second na concern niya sir is, baka naman may mga civilian sa area. Uh, ang sagot ko sa kanya sir, sir, hindi pa rin ma-determine. Actually sir, uh, parang nahihirapang mag-contact sila doon sa main airport. Yun ang sinabi ko kay General uh, Uh, pangilinan. Wala po akong binabanggit sa kanya about about peace process, CCCH or whatever na minemension po ni Chief Superintendent Talino. Ang minemension ko po is nasaan ang uh, tropa ng main airport at saka nasaan po yung kung may mga civilian. Yung po yung diniscuss namin ni uh, General Pangilinan. After po madiscuss namin ni General Pangilinan that uh, uh, situation, nagbigay po siya ng uh, guidance sa akin. Sinabi niya po, Uh, okay, uh, okay yung uh, plan 1 and plan 2 mo, you go ahead with that. Pero yung artillery, uh, dahil uh, malabo pa yung mga detalye, i-hold muna natin, hold muna yan. Pakisabi mo kay General Talino. So, binaba, uh, actually, sinabihan ko pa nga si General Talino na, Sir, si Com6 kausap ko. Uh, kung, uh, kung gusto mong kausapin, nandito lang sa salinya. Pero sabi ni, uh, ano, uh, ano bang guidance? Uh, actually, sabi ni General Pangilinan, ay na guidance, sige na, sabihin mo na. So, sinabi ko kay General Talino, 
na sir, uh, inaprubahan na ni uh, Com6 yung plan 1 natin, mag-insert tayo ng DRC together with PNP para sa extraction. Uh, inaprubahan niya yung uh, second option, magpadala tayo ng wheel vehicle para doon sa blocking. Pero yung artillery mo sir, uh, uh, hold muna dahil uh, wala pa yung mga detalye. So, bumalik po kami sa Google Map nila, tiningnan po namin yung uh, final plan. Which, ang sinabi naman po ni General Talenyo, okay, uh, good, uh, good yan, at least maganda na yung plano natin. Uh, tapos sir, uh, pinainalize namin, after ma-finalize namin, inassemble na po namin yung tropa. Pagka-assemble po na namin ng tropa, lahat po ng uh, vehicle, DRC, pati na po yung uh, explosive over ordinance uh, disposal team, uh, inassemble na po namin sa harap ng brigade headquarters. Pagka-assemble po namin, nag-final briefing po ako. After ng final briefing, nag-prayers po. Ganon po kami, nag-prayers po yung lahat ng tropa ko na lalabas. After po ng prayer, uh, uh, na-notice ko po na walang maglilit. Kaya sinabi ko po kay General Talinyo, Sir, uh, pwede bang makakuha ng uh, guide ng PNP SAP para pag nag-link up itong tropa doon sa PNP SAP sa may Tukalanipaw, merong mag-guide. Uh, mabuti naman sir, nag-volunteer uh, si Superintendent Mangahis at sinabi niya na sir, ako na lang sir ang sasama. So sumama po si Superintendent Mangahis sa lead vehicle namin ng armored vehicle from the brigade headquarters, siya po ang naging guide. So uh, uh, at that time, mga 8-820 na sir, umalis na yung aming uh, uh, reinforcement force. Kasama po si Superintendent Mangahis sa lead vehicle, siya po ang nag-guide papunta po ng Tukalanipaw. Pagkalis po ng lahat ng uh, tropa namin para mag-reinforce, sina, sina Chief Superintendent Talinyo and all the PNP SAP nandun doon po sa Brigade Headquarters. After one minute, umalis na po sila sa Brigade Headquarters. Wala na pong naiwan na PNP SAP sa Brigade Headquarters ko except puro army. Starting po ng 8.20 ng umaga hanggang 2.40 in the afternoon. Wala pong PNP SAP. Uh, sa headquarters ko mula 8.20 ng umaga hanggang 2.40 in the afternoon. Sir. That's all, sir, and thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chair, sir, please. Last. Uh, in, in lieu of a last question, may I ju I'll just sum up para po maintindihan natin yung mga tinanong ko kanina. Kasi po, I heard several times during this hearing and also in the media that both uh, General Napenas and uh, Attorney Aguirre passed judgment on the lack of support coming from the AFP. So that's why I wanted to demonstrate that point. Oh, kasi oh, the only way you can do that is you yourself, uh, General Peña, sir, uh, were able to do everything you can. But after g having gone over the BOI report and the Senate Committee report, things keep coming back. What are these things? Mga shortcomings po. Flawed po yung plan. Single entry, single exit. Walang consideration for artillery and air support. Nilagay lang dun as necessary. Walang annex or coordinating instructions for that. Second, put execution. Yung first jump off pa lang, late na. So, may ano po yan, may cascading effect po yan. Ang net effect niyan, you are exposing your men to daylight by that time. Magka May I remind the good uh, gentleman from Magdala that uh, you already have exceeded yeah. Yeah. so much of your uh, time already. Mr. Chair, I'm just wrapping up. La last point. Last point. Yeah. Very, Last point. Very, very short. Yeah. Last point. Okay. Okay. ba may operational security sila, kaya hindi sila parami ng tropa. But in doing so, you're also exposing your men to the possibility that you will be overwhelmed by a superior force. Kasi nakapaligid ho sila dun sa area of operation. So what is my point here? Uh, tinanong ko po kanina kung merong total command and control communication. Sa tingin ko, wala. The, 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 the plan was uh, flawed. Congressman so, Asidillo, you know, I, I already have uh, considered your, your so, so much of your essential. Two seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> but, uh, I keep my word, Mr. Chair. Two seconds. Okay. Kaya ang sinasabi natin dito, Mr. Chair, huwag tayong mag-pass judgment sa iba kung alam natin na may pagkukulang tayo. Yun lang po, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, the next to interpolate is uh, the Honorable Congresswoman Ilagat. Uh, I already have recognized the gentlewoman from Gabriela. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Earlier, 
Mr. Chair, General Napenas took pains to explain that U.S. participation was not in combat at all. But the BOI and Senate reports mentioned the types of involvement of the U.S. counterparts, quote-unquote, such as U.S. training of the seaborne, sharing of intelligence, involvement of six U.S. personnel where they provided intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and medical evacuation aircraft. So, Mr. Chair, what was the unit of these American counterparts? FBI, CIA, counter-terrorist groups. Your Honor, if I, we may be able to discuss that in an executive session, kasi masyadong detalye na po yung tinatanong ninyo. Next question. There were three meetings in the planning and the review of Oplan Exodus. December 18, December 27, January 18. If I may add what was mentioned earlier, January 9, were there American counterparts in these meetings? No, Your Honor. And up to the day of uh, January 25, there were at least 10 Oplans that attempted to capture Marwan 